show me lawful law to verify that. Sir. For the record. For the record. He can show me the lawful law in this jurisdiction. The evidence will show. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. As you're getting emotional, it's just not coming through, Daryl, is what I'm saying to you. Like, and all the things that have happened and the stuff, etc. Sorry, I'm emotional. And then what had happened was. <laughs> Oh my God, Daryl. Your Honor, I have a question. Um, oh my God. Go ahead. The the uh, subject matter the files that I'm attempting to locate are uh, pertains directly to uh, the witnesses that I will be calling. Um, I'm not sure what witnesses are here today. Well, let's do this. Um, I'd like you to at least do your opening statement, bring the jury and do that. We'll give you an opportunity to look again. I can have the state write down who's here. I believe it's based on what you told them. And then we'll, if there's still something you need at that point, um, but I'd like to at least bring the jury out and start with your opening statement, okay? Well, just so I'm clear. I See, that was extremely reasonable what she just said. Could she have been any more reasonable? She was extremely reasonable. Daryl cannot be made happy. He can't be made whole because he's half a dude. So, <laughs> you know, it be what it be. It do what it do, don't it, Daryl? High five. I'm scared to put my hand up and even do the high five thing. My AI camera is going to think I'm telling it something again. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> give a specific order in, you know, who I will be calling by specific order. I, I gave uh, a generalization of... Uh, Cheryl, who would be, state, sorry. Who, who would be called on what day? Why well, don't I have the state write down who's here presently, and then you can make that determination, but, but at least let's go with the opening statement, okay? Th that's what I was trying to get at. It, it would help to know who's actually here today. She already told you she was going to do that. She said, you do your opening statement, and then I will have them write down a list of all the with your witnesses that are here today. She even said that. She just said it. <laughs> but of course, Daryl's like, well, I mean, but I just, I don't know who's here though. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no stupid. That's why I said I'm going to have him write the list down. Oh, so extra dumb. Daryl, be extra dumb. Day. Ugh. Before you make your opening statement. Well, so I know if, if they're not here, then essentially I can't call them. What they got to do with your opening statement? Let's address that after. I'll have the state write down who they know to be here now or who's coming this afternoon because there might have been people here this morning. I believe they're still here, but I'll let them write that down for you so you can better prepare. Uh, but at this point, I, I would like to bring the jury out for your opening statement. I presume you're going to give one. I am. Okay. Then yeah. let's, I'll have the jury brought out, okay? Subject matter jurisdiction? Um, my prior written decision stands. I will not be addressing that further. Your objection is noted, um, and I will be continuing with the trial. Is it verified proof for the no, record? Sir, I don't believe I need to do that, or that the state needs to do that as well. I, I believe your statement about that is a misstatement of the law, and I do not intend to pursue that further. Can you show me lawful law that says that? I gave you a written I'm decision. I shit. have done How that. Can you show me lawful <laughs> law that verifies that? Sir. For the record. For the record, and you show me the law for law in this jurisdiction. <laughs> Daryl, go flush yourself down that fucking toilet sink combo that you got, you know, next to your cot. See if they, I heard those things are very powerful. This, I wonder if it can, I wonder if you could flush a Daryl down a prison toilet stool, you know what I'm saying? Can you, can, can you fit a Daryl down here? I think everything but his face would fit, you know what I'm saying? Because everything else is shiny. Except for that big ass fucking face he got. You know? <laughs> All that would be left was just his face like. <laughs> the toilet would still be the suck. Apparently that thing has the suction of like just the afterlife. You know what I'm saying? All be left is his face. 
Oh, that would be funny, Daryl. You should try it. Take pictures. I gave you. We call it restitution, you know? <laughs> His head would fit. He got a little ass fucking head. He just got that big ass face, Cecilia. It's an illusion. It looks like he got a big head, but he don't. He got a little ass fucking head. He just got a gigantic face. His face is like Harry and the Hendersons. That's his face. Daryl is very much Harry from Harry and the Hendersons, but little. He's like a mini you, Sasquatch. You written decision. <laughs> you that can. I accept it for value in return for and value. And that's what. That's was, how I'm going to answer that. So it let's. Not um, verify proof. <laughs> we still, we still aren't. Sir, there is no requirement in the law that the state or the court establish that. So Actually, there is. Noted. Actually, there is, Your Honor. Subject matter jurisdiction so has to please. be proven for the record. Mm -hmm. Has to be proven. <laughs> has to be proven. <laughs> Gotta prove it. You know that just as well as... <laughs> Mr. Brooks, we no both please do not it. make statements <laughs> that mischaracter... He's like, look, Your Honor, we both learned it in law school, okay? <laughs> Where you get your law degree, Daryl? I'm just curious. I'm not insinuating that, and I'm just curious, just wondering where you got your law degree. I mean, look, Kim K acting like she got one too. I mean, apparently y'all getting these things from, I would assume, out your asses. I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> Pulling them out of your anus. Is your, huh? Interesting. See if I can't law. find you know one has to be proven Or that impugn the integrity of this <laughs> court. You know it has to be proven the on the record. proceedings here. You know the jury is advised to disregard the statements that Mr. Brooks is making regarding subject matter jurisdiction. They are not evidence, and you are to disregard them. You're not presented as evidence. Just has yet to be proven for the record. The jury will disregard. How did he get so agitated so quick? He was being so nice a second ago, wasn't he? Wasn't he? And now he went right into, it's like he just flew right off the handle. Regard the incorrect statements of the law that him. Mr. Brooks is stating. Where's lawful law that is incorrect? Mr. Brooks, please. I am going to read one instruction. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. The defendant will now make an opening statement. Mm -hmm. The purpose of an opening statement is to give the defendant an opportunity to tell you what he expects the evidence will show mm -hmm. so that you will better understand the evidence as it is introduced during the trial. I must caution you, however, that the opening statements are not evidence. With that, go ahead, sir. Waffle law. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have any... Uh rehearsed a well well prepared speech so i'm just gonna speak from the heart oh my god it's so funny he's seen this done in movies you know that's what this come from right like in the movies this is terrible thing happened and the, and the leader person or whatever has to come and talk to the people and, and comfort them or let them know what's going on but he knows everybody's all you know frazzled they need leadership and so the guy comes out with his speech all prepared but he looks out at the crowd and he sees the faces and all the people and they you know it's like this is a moment they need somebody they need someone to to explain this to them so he comes out and he takes a speech sits it down face down and he says you know i had this speech but i'm just gonna talk to you or whatever this is this this is from a movie this is from a movie daryl you are not a movie star okay <laughs> Daryl, you're not a movie star. You're just nuts. I'm just going to speak to you from the heart. You know, I'm not going to be like them and do my homework. <laughs> I ain't going to do like them and do the assignment that, that was given to me like a good boy, like a good student. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to come in here and talk to you out of my black shriveled heart. Because <laughs> they feel like the right thing to do. <laughs> Go ahead, Daryl. Tell us. Tell us what you, say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. I want to bring to remembrance something mm -hmm. I, I think everyone in this room has been taught. Yeah. Uh, pretty much as far back as we can remember. Uh huh. Is that. What we does taught. There's always two sides to every story. Mm mm mm. Ain't that something? Um, okay. What's your side? And for so long now, uh, roughly a year, there's only truly been one side told of this story mm -hmm. and uh uh-huh okay uh, <laughs> sat back and watched uh, from <laughs> countless narratives that that has been put out there the way Warrior this woman. incident has been portrayed at times and uh finally 
everyone getting a chance to get the full story. You won't hear me try to uh, argue facts. Uh, the fact is that this incident was tragic, very tragic. That's not lost on me. Facts are that there's still a lot of people healing, uh, a lot of families healing on both sides. On both sides? Is it the both sides, Daryl? Oh. When I'm confident that the evidence will show, oh. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. As you're getting emotional? When I'm confident. As you're emotional, oh my God. Like saying you emotional does not, it's just not coming through, Daryl, is what I'm saying to you. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, and all the things that have happened and the stuff, etc. Sorry, I'm emotional. And then what had happened was, <laughs> Daryl, do you not even know what emotional looks like? Like, you want it? You're like, it's like you don't even know. You don't even know what it's supposed to look like when you're emotional. Like, sorry, I'm emotional. Uh, you know, because he knows that's a thing you say, but he can't show it because he don't know what it is. He don't know what it looks like because he's a fucking monster. <laughs> He's a beast. He's a peninsula-toting beast. <laughs>